Hi, Stephen Caleb with Brownells here, and today we want to show you the differences between the Shield Plus and a standard Shield. And there are a few differences. Right, there are. So when you're dealing with the Shield 2.0 and the new Shield Plus, the only differences, this is going to be a long video, is going to be the magazine and the magazine catch. Right, pretty much. The magazine's larger, the body is slightly larger, and the magazine catch has to be slightly longer for that for that reason. Otherwise, everything stays about the same. Yeah, because unlike your you know, your standard Shield 2.0, the Plus with the Flush Fit magazine is going to be a 10 rounder. With right. the uh, extended that's in it right now, it's going to be a 13 round capacity, which is a really cool upgrade to the Shield line. Yeah. And um, if you wanted to field strip that one, Steve, we can actually take a gander inside here. Well, is it okay if I cheat and use the Glock method of disassembly? It's, you know, whatever. Whatever tickles your fancy, see? I choose as well. All right. Yeah, we'll start with the frames here. Look at that. When you grab one of these, there's not much difference at all. It's really striking how similar they are and yet how much greater the capacity is. This one has a flush mounted seven round capacity on the narrower one, while the Shield Plus has a 10 or a 13 round capacity. That one with the extended base plate will be 13. Yep. But the width is almost the same. Yeah. It's, it, this does not, this does not feel any different. Yeah, it still feels really good in the hand. The only really noticeable difference between the two is the rougher texture on the Plus. Right, it does have a better texture. So yeah. if you're gonna transition from the regular Shield to the Shield Plus, you'll find that it's super easy. No inconvenience whatsoever. You know, if you look at the slide assembly, this is the one that came off of the Plus and the standard Shield 2.0. Right. It goes right on. Everything. Same thing. Everything's exactly the same. Yeah. So, nice way for Smith & Wesson to up the ante without having to go through a whole lot of trouble. No big changes here, just the changes that are needed. They had a winning design as it was. Now yeah. this new trigger, this flat trigger is something. It's, uh, Gives it a little bit different feel. Feels like a lighter trigger. It's very crisp, has a really good reset. Got a very audible reset as well. Um, it's got the same uh, black finish. It's Armor Knight, they call that. Yeah, a fancy proprietary nitrated yeah, coating. Yeah, basically. Sure, so. Basically indestructible, which is kind of what you need when you're, you're using a carry gun that might get sweated on, bled on, dropped in the parking lot, whatever. Um, shuffle Don't around the glove yeah. box. Don't drop it in the parking lot. Don't drop it. And uh, so, yeah, and I mean, just to point out real quick here, you know, all of your major upgrades, your sights, um, you know, your trigger, uh, things like that, your threaded barrels, uh, whatever you want to put in it, they're all interchanged. So right. standard Shield 2.0, if you're running a Shield Plus, you can just buy part, the parts that fit that and they'll cross right over. Yep, yeah. that's all there is to it. That is the new Shield Plus from Smith & Wesson. If you have any comments or questions, please let us know down below. We'd like to hear from you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.